sunrise in the sky birds are flying high coffee and a smile. so after checking into my hotel around 3 in the morning and dealing with some serious jet lag i finally woke up almost at noon but the exciting part i woke up to the sound of some amazing music outside and of course i had to check out what was going on sunshine warms the way come on let's play when I stepped outside, the energy was electric. I didn't expect to be greeted by such vibrant sounds and it instantly got me up. Kevad definitely knows how to keep things lively. Oh my goodness, look at this. Let me show you. I woke up late, but so much fun, so much fun going on. Wow. What a place. Damn, I'm literally staying in paradise. What a, a beautiful way to wake up. Wow. If this isn't paradise, <laughs> and there's someone dancing with them in the pool, let me zoom. I'm not so sure if we'll capture that. But they're dancing over there at the pool. They're dancing. Three beautiful pools. I watched, I saw this at night and they were looking amazing. Amazing, man. Habibi, welcome to Cabo Verde. Ah, they even have coconut water just right here. Look at that. The coconut trees are full of the waters. After soaking in the vibes for a bit, I quickly got ready for the day and first things first, I grabbed some lunch and got ready for my first trail estate presentation trip for the day. Hey, hey, the music, the music also just makes you want to enjoy. Finally, I'm done. I'm ready, about to step out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go out. I'll give you more details later. Oh, so we have a lot. is the African tigress doing in Sal Cabo Verde so I came for a business investment trip and right now we are going to see one of the sites we are having a presentation of the Gulf Estate here in Sal so remember to always invest investment is the future and Cape Verde is a very beautiful place. It gives me Caribbean. Anyway, I'm going to be meeting with one familiar person that you might know. Let's go. So I'm staying in, let's see, that's, it's okay, it's okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I'm staying at Melia Donas, a very beautiful resort. I'll give you a tour later. But then we have Melia Lana here. Melia Lana is an adult only resort and Donas is allows both adults and children. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This place reminds me a lot of Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt. 
We're going to site C. Do you want to invest in Cabo Verde? Do you want a slice of the motherland? Let's see this golf resort or golf estate that's coming up that you're going to be talking about. Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up? My name is Steven and we are in an archipelago country of Cabo Verde. We're here to experience one of the 10 many islands. So it's, it's unfortunate Tigris is not going to take you guys to the other islands, but we should, we should show you the videos, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, alright. Welcome to Sal, Cabo Verde. After waiting for a little while for the rest of the team to join us, we were ready to take the bus to go on the first site. I'm super excited about it. Come along, let's go, let's go. Blue waves and sunshine, we're laughing all the time. Sailing feels so fine with friends so divine. Sky so clear today when starts our voyage sway. Music guides our way in this ocean bay. We ride the tide with no place to hide under the sky so wide. Together, throughout this trip, we'll be visiting several sites that are prime for investment and attending a series of insightful presentations. If you are interested in learning more about investing in Cape Verde, I'll include the necessary contact information in the description below. So this is the entrance to the Gulf A state. Let's get in. All these are business people, entrepreneurs from Nigeria. Nigerian businessmen interested in investing here. So be the same, but I this place could be one of your future business investments here in Cape Verde. I feel like I'm surrounded by greatness with such influential people, and it really reminds me of the potential that Africa holds. Let's listen to business mogul Samba Bathley, and he spoke from the heart, encouraging wealthy Africans to invest in Africa. His words are so powerful, reminding us of the opportunities here, and it's up to us to build the future that we really want. Let's leave. For, for your information, this island, there was only 8,000 people living here. So one of the reasons Sal Island was developed, it was because of South African Airways used to make a stop here for the U.S. In fact, his father, of his first hotel, it was for the crew of South Africa Airlines, SA. So the island turned up a few years back to be a, a tourism destination. So who developed the tourism side here? Is all those uh, companies like Tui, and back in the days, Thomas Cook, that come, they invest in the hotel, but mainly they were scattering European tourists. So if you see in, 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 in South, you have, I would say, more hotel room than population. Yeah. Because of, Sal is like 38,000 people, and you receive here more than 600,000 tourists every year. Tabver went from 200,000 tourists to 700,000 before COVID, and now the new plan is to go to Two million tourists. So myself, how I discovered this island, it was back in 2018, 17, 17, 18. I came here for a solar business because the re I came to register my school for solar because uh, the ECOWAS uh, institution that do that is in prior. So when I came, 
I do my registration, and then I was invited for to a dinner with a minister, and I was listening to music. They, I was asking local music. So they, they, he was shocked. Said, How do you know those? Uh, because this is roots, it's not the most most popular one. So the gentleman understand that I like music. He said, "Okay, Praia is not the right island for you." So since you have the plane on the way back, just make a quick stop. It's 28 minutes from Praia to Mindelo, San Vicente. So I went there. I have a dinner at, at the bay. And I was feeling so comfortable, the weather, the environment. I said, that this could be a Monaco, Miami, right here, one hour from Senegal. Why are we going to all this place? The weather is here, the security is okay. And then the same night, I came, so I asked, can I have a house here in this place? So the gentleman said there is a, a Sweden consul that is selling his house. So it was 10 o'clock in the night, and I was traveling the next day. I said, can I see the house tonight? They said, okay, this is an old lady, but we'll... we went. I, I visited the living room, the balcony, and one room, and I said, I'm on. The next day morning, I signed the paper, and then that was my first acquisition, first trip. I think on Stephen's video is the mansion where you yeah. see where was a, a Bentley and Rolls Royce mm -hmm. inside the, the, the house. That's the first house I bought it. The trip after when I came, I was moving around the, the bay, so they was building a hotel, so I was curious. I, I get into the hotel. So it was a Belgian couple with a local woman who was building the hotel. So they built the hotel on the sea. So I asked ask them if they want to sell. They said no. Then I got some information, how much they invest, and then I add 1.5 million to buy it. That was my first acquisition. So uh, just to tell you, we African, I've been telling you see some of my videos past 15 years. When we have money, we go vacation outside of Africa. When we have money, we go for medical treatment outside of Africa. When we have money, we send our kids to school outside. Myself, at nine years old, I was in France, sent by my parents to boarding school. So at the end of the day, all the money we African we made is going outside of Africa. We are not creating wealth. We are not creating, we are putting our future generation in danger. Because we make money, we spend everything outside, we're not creating job. When there is no job, there is riot. You see in Nigeria there was riot. I've been saying that 15 years. So at the end of the day, what we should do, and that's what I'm pushing for the past 10, 15 years, in many business organizations, this is for our own security. Because Africa, we are 1.3 billion people. We will be 2 billion 250 in, in, in 2050. So there will be 500 million people coming on the job market. So those 500 million people, if tomorrow they have no job because we are not creating wealth, if you don't create wealth, you cannot create job. So what is take to Africa to go on vacation in Africa? What is take to Africa to, to have school? And that's why we come with the concept, even at the AU level. So each, each country has some competitive advantage. Like Nigeria could be the hub for film. This could be the hub for tourism. Morocco could be another hub for tourism and school. So each country can bring something on the table. Then we will do cross Africa. We will exchange. So we'll, our wealth, at least 80% have to remain on the continent. But today is not the thing. You see Choma that I met. Choma tried to sell me an apartment when I came from the Dubai airport. She said, oh, no, we have first group. I said, my sister, me, I don't, I don't buy property out of Africa. I don't want. You can ask her. This is how I met Choma. I said, by the way, if you want to come and sell property in Africa, I will take your ticket, you come back. You come back and you'll do the same thing you are doing for Dubai. You do it for Africa. Because there is 17,000 Nigerians who invest in Dubai. Today, most of them cannot have visa. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have a house, you don't have a visa. You put money where there is already money. Huh? You put money where there is money. 
And the good thing about Cap Vert that I see is the fact that there is security. Weather is better than Monaco, Miami, and Dubai. 25 degrees all year, only three months you go above, like this month. Security, they are in the top 10. You are four hours from Nigeria, where you have 250 million. In six hour radius, you have two billion people. That could come for tourism, that could come for school, that could come for everything. So why are we not putting our money here? I invest millions of dollars since 2018 to here. So I know it's a, it's a long journey. Somebody have to do it the, the, the first. You will see, to, to come to this, I put two years bringing different partner on this project. You will understand later on top class partner, because at the end of the day, the environment, it's safe to do it. This same project, you could not do it in Lagos for many reasons. Lagos, you could have all the money of the world. You will not attract those kind of uh, tourism because the cliche, you don't have that cliche here. You will not uh, do this in Johannesburg. Johannesburg with all the, I have a house in Johannesburg with all the things you could not have those kind of tourists in Johannesburg because of the criminality. So every country has its competitive advantage. So the competitive advantage I see from Caver could be tourism, leisure, and all these things. So that's why investing here, I think, is good for the future because uh, they went from 200,000 tourists to 700 tourists. They want to go to 2 million. It's possible. I remember in, in 1999 in Morocco, I was there. One of my friends was working on a tourism plan, a, a big consulting firm. He was projecting Morocco to have 10 million tourists. That was 1999. I would say, you're joking. He said, no, no, it's possible. Morocco passed 10 million tourists. And here, I think they have better, uh, uh, how to say that? Uh, Prospect. Prospects okay. than, than Morocco in many places because you don't have those kind of terrorist security is more control and it's one hour two hours for most of our West African country and at the end of the day if you invest here you have the flow of tourists coming from uh, outside and those people come on the winter time if African start. Most of us go on vacation from June to September. This is the time the hotel are most, most of the time empty. So we can do the reverse scenario. So all year, you will have all the room filled. You, the, the room, uh, I think it's 240 days out of 360. So. Of course, we took a walk around the site that is said to be developed. And what really stood out for me were the incredible amenities planned, like a 21-hole golf course, an equestrian center, and so much more. I am a firm believer in investing now because letting your money sit in the bank doesn't bring rewards. The truth is, it's always more affordable to invest today than it will be tomorrow, next year, or five years from now. Let me know what you think. So massive. All the way to that side. Well, you can see that building. In fact, I think that building could be our resort, but very close to our resort. And then you go all the way down this way. You can see that's still part of the golf course. So, they, there is more property than people can live in. You agree with me? Because here, if you, you build, 
the tourism population will only grow. Just take Africa. We are 1.3. We'll just, the millennial, will be 2 billion. So there will be more tourists. Africa just now, we have 88 million tourists. And most of them are foreign. So imagine the day we start the intra-African tourist tourism. Like, and more and more, the young generation is taking conscience. More and more people want to travel to Africa. So 10% of just Africans decide to travel to Africa. That will be 130 million new tourists. So that means what? If you have more tourists, you will need more room. Yeah. If you need more room, you will have more infrastructure. Yeah, I, was in the, I was in the conference, uh, it was the AU conference last year. There was a lot of ministers of tourism. Some people was complaining, oh, the airfare are still expenses in Africa. Mm -hmm. The hotel room. I said, you know what? The reason is because we don't have a critical mass. We African, if we decide to travel, develop, to develop. develop the tourism. So if the demand go up, the plane will go down. down. The tax in Dakar, uh, on each ticket, there is a hand, almost 100 euros. Why? Because the way they structured the financing of the airport 15 years ago, they add a levy, I think close to 100, on each ticket to finance the airport. But this is because today they have 2 million, to, two million uh, people coming in. If they have the double, they can reduce of half. Mm -hmm. Same for the plane. And sure. hotel. If there is more demand, the financier will finance more the hotel mm -hmm. room. Mm -hmm. So there is no, you know. Economy of light scale. It's economy of, of light scale. Yeah. And we have young generation that everyday people are going up. What people want today? They want to come on the beach. They want to see a nice place. What do you been to Monaco? What Monaco have that this place they don't have? What what Miami don't have that this, this place don't have? What Dubai have that this place it's don't still, have? Like if you put the nice weather, hotel, so better weather. we are in Africa, better weather, closer. So they see. see you see, we yeah. African, we have a problem. So much Look at the school. Complex. Look at just the school. Complex. We all are sending our kids yeah. outside. Yeah. My father spent millions of dollars on me. But why? Because we think that we don't have the good school. Mm -hmm. What Dubai and Abu Dhabi do? They bring this, those big names to them. There is Sorbonne in, in, in Abu Dhabi. There's all the American school there, all Mayo Clinic. They are there. Everything. What is cost? $150 million investment? In Africa, how, how many billion we spend in, on foolish things? Um, honestly. We could on have it here. Definitely. How many billion was spent? <coughs> Only Nigeria. As I look at the 2010 time when the dollar was $100, you could put every kind of school in Nigeria, attract them. You can call any school, any hospital. You put the infrastructure, you say, manage it. It's like a hotel. Mm -hmm. When you build, they will come. You Somebody give it to them, they will manage it. Yeah. They will manage it and you say, you, they will take 10, 15 same, percent. Same standard quality. And, and they will manage it. That's what Dubai, they, they don't reinvent the wheel. They took the best of everybody. I was in Dubai first time in 1997. When I, I, I was having a meeting at Hard Rock Cafe with a friend. I took a car. I took Sheikh Zayed Road. On my left, there was uh, uh, the World Trade Center. And on the right, there was uh, one UK hotel. There was not more than three billion. Not in there, yeah. Yeah. It was a desert. Desert I, I was driving. At the point, I see nothing left. I called the guy. I said, my guy, I'm lost. He said, no, no, come. The Hard Rock Cafe is there. Today, you know, where, where is the Hard Rock Cafe? It's, the, out of the town. It, it's in the town. Out of the town, yeah. They destroy it. So what they did, they bring the best specialist, the best consultant to do state of art and to do better that was in Europe and America. Sure. Because the good thing of starting things after the people, you can add you small, can small things. That's yeah. what we're going to do on this project. Okay. Every people that I bring in, they are best in class in what they are doing. It's okay. what I'm doing even in my own business. Whatever business I'm doing, I'm with the world number one company. On the ID, okay. I'm working with the world number one. On the road, I bring the world number one. 
anything. It's all about pack I, packaging. Packaging. It's all about packaging. Yeah. So I will go, I will say, okay, this is the project. Everybody wants to make money. I structure well, you come, you deliver, we share. It's win-win. Everybody's happy. 10 so what, of, is, what is uh, taking is us to not do that? I'm so frustrated when I see what's happening in Africa. We just take money, we go in Dubai, shop $50,000, $100,000, we come, mm -hmm. buy a house, you will not even sleep that maybe one month in a year. You, you see, it's, it's useless. And you, how much money are you making out of that? Because there's much, much house there that are not rented. If you see Dubai yeah. today, yeah. how yeah. many yeah. houses are there? Empty, Empty there. apartments. You invest. Five years after when you broke in Africa, you know, things change in Africa. You go sell cheap price. You lose uh, maybe 30% of your money. So it, it doesn't make sense. Me, all my investment in Africa. Mm. Any country I do business, I buy a house. I invest there. It was truly inspiring to witness Mr. Samba's passion for Africa. We also had a presentation at Hilton Hotel Santa Maria showcasing these and more opportunities. This is pretty much the format of the rest of our days here. Site visits and presentations filled with amazing potential. <laughs> Even though we were here for business, you all know all work and no play isn't the way to go. I mean, this is Cabo Verde. <laughs> oh, so going to the all white party. My goodness, this is how the beach looks like at night. Oh shoot, I'm saying the beach, but I'm going to Bikini Beach. It's an adults only white party, but these are the pools. What a view. So this is the beautiful resort. It looks just like a resort I stayed in Sharm El Sheikh. Wow. Huh. I can't wait to dive in here. This is one of my favorite colors. I can't wait to dive in here tomorrow. But for now, let's go to the beach. Bikini Beach. Let me turn so I can give you a view of the resort from this angle. It's like a massive curve. Why do I feel like there's nobody here? But I've been told this is the... Oh, okay, I see some people. I'm good. Let me touch some of this water. Oh, it's warm. Can't wait for tomorrow. Ooh, damn. Look at that view. Man, I'm so blessed. This is Cabo Verde, baby. This is Cabo Verde. I have been walking for the past five minutes and I see nobody. This looks like shop, so I'm not so sure if I've left the resort. Look, this is a hell. Now I'm starting to... <laughs> okay. Awesome. So, I just got to the beach. I didn't know... Oh my goodness. I didn't know the resort was close to the beach. It's a massive, massive, massive resort. So, depending on where you are staying, you could be close to the beach. When I saw the photos online i actually thought it was only like a little bit walking from the beach but the whole area is actually part of the resort and i met a security guard and he's directed me i'm actually at the right route another security guard here hello, hello. how are you doing okay. bikini beach okay, okay thank you My goodness, I can't wait to explore this place during the day. I'm so excited. What? Yeah, 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 my Niger people. Hey, 
Hey, hey, hey. So they had invited a Nigerian musician, Casey, to perform at an all white party at Bikini Beach here in Sal. And let me tell you, it was an absolute blast. Nigerians really know how to enjoy life. Nigerian know they carry less. Let's get in. Come on, please, please. 
a busy day, the all-white party was the perfect way to unwind. The next day, I took a stroll around the resort, finally getting to explore these beautiful surroundings in daylight. Earlier, we had a presentation from Melia Resort, that's where I am staying. As I had mentioned before, we are here to explore various properties and investment opportunities. You can actually invest in the Melia Group of Resorts. They have a couple of resorts in this island and you will be able to own a piece of this paradise, like buying a villa for tourists to rent. It's an incredible opportunity to be part of something special here in Kevad. Let's go around, let's see, let's see this Melia place. So be the same para Ondas dançam pelo ar No horizonte vou sonhar Cabo verde me encanta Praia de areia dourada Sorriso em cada parada Navegar na madrugada Cabo verde jornada Vamos viver Sabor salgado no gol, Cabo Verde, olha só No calor do seu coração, nesse lugar de emoção Cada passo é uma canção, Cabo Verde tentação This resort is absolutely gorgeous and one of the best parks of staying at Melia property is the variety of dining options. You get access to all the restaurants on that property so if you are not feeling like the main hotel restaurants with a buffet, you can choose from different types of restaurants all in the property and they are completely free. Whether you're looking for a romantic dinner date or you want to have fun night out with your friends and family there is literally everything on that property and the restaurants and the bars they are free there is a place for every vibe and it doesn't stop there Melia has tons of shops right on the property so it's like a little city within a resort you've got everything that you need in one place so be the same but I Dançam pelo ar No horizonte vou sonhar Cabo Verde me encanta Praia de areia dourada Sorriso em cada parada Navegar na madrugada Cabo Verde jornada Vamos viver Sabor salgado no gol, Cabo Verde, olha só No calor do seu coração, nesse lugar de emoção Cada passo é uma canção, Cabo Verde cor. tentação This place is extremely huge. I mean, some people have to get around on bicycles or some, I've seen some golf carts around. So this is still part of the Amelia Resort. Sol no reg 
que o corpo faz só Sabor salgado no gol Cabo Verde, olha só No calor do seu coração Nesse lugar de emoção Cada passo é uma canção Cabo Verde, tentação Every day after the presentations, we always found time to explore the island. And trust me, being surrounded by Nigerians is such a vibe because they are energy is endless so we are heading north for a boat cruise we'll go to see the dolphins and snorkeling and you know just enjoy being on a boat and seeing the island from water <laughs> i'm really looking forward for the adventure let's do this so be less in para ondas dançam pelo ar no horizonte vou sonhar cabo verde me cantar praia de areia dourada Sorriso em cada parada, navegar na madrugada, Cabo Verde, jornada. Vamos viver, vamos cantar, em Cabo Verde, mar não há igual. Vamos viver, vamos cantar, em Cabo Verde, mar não há igual. Cores de um pôr do sol, no reggae o corpo vai só. Salgado no gol, Cabo Verde, olha só No calor do seu coração, nesse lugar de emoção Cada passo é uma canção, Cabo Verde, tentação Vamos viver, vamos cantar Look, look at uh, look at you, Bright. You are all you are all you are all enjoying. I'm the only one holding camera. You, and you think it's easy that you just travel and you get okay, your alert, you enjoy. Bank alert, eh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bank alert, you enjoy. So I'm with some Nigerians here and I'm an adopted Nigerian. Uh, My name is Choma. Your name is that's the name you choose. Yeah, which one is Take nicer? Ada. Okay, Ada, Ada is nice. Okay. Ada, Ada will be. Used, okay, Ada will be. No, on the boat, on the boat, no shoes on the boat. So, who, who who's Obi? Obi is king. She oh, so daughter of the king. Oh, Ada, Ada means what? Daughter, first daughter of the king. Okay, so, so princess basically. Oh, princess. Uh, yeah, that, All right. That, that, so my Nigerian name princess. is Ada. <laughs> Ada Obi. <laughs> Safety first. Hi, Bella. Bella. Hello. Hi. Thank you so much. All right. You say you are? Is that? Is it? Is it? Are you put the music on the boat. There's drinks. Drinks, yes. And water. Water. Yeah, all in complete. Oh, nice. Oh, Here, it's all, oh, yes. And the snack. Which, which with snack. I can make do with a snack. You can. <laughs> I can make it with a snake. He said a, a snake. A snake. He said snake. I can tell you love fashion. You're looking great. I like I like your feet. I like your feet. I have a fashion brand. You have a fashion brand? Baco. Baco. When I'm coming to Nigeria, you're going to you show me all those amazing yeah. things you're doing. For free. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Come take this one. Oh, it's okay. Come, we look at the people. Um, uh, I hope this is not the boat. <laughs> wait, wait. Go on the boat. Sit down. Is this the boat? I thought it's catamaran. No. You see, he's wearing a catamaran. Yeah. The boat go to the dance. Get the boat. Oh, we're going to the. We go to the big yeah. boat. We go to the big boat. Yeah. No, no, no. This uh, is the boat. This is the boat. Yeah. This one is a fishing boat. Because yeah. <laughs> this is wearing catamaran, so I think it has to be a catamaran. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's the flag of Senegal. That that boat is the flag of Senegal. Oh. That's why you have a flutter. I think they're taking us to the catamaran. Yeah, that's the catamaran. Blue waves and sunshine, we're laughing all the time. Sailing feels so fine. With friends so divine Sky so clear today Wind starts our voyage sway Music guides our way In this ocean bay We ride the tide With no place to hide Under the sky so wide Together side by side Chill breeze on our face Love this open space Journey at our pace Leaving every trace We ride the tide With no place to hide Under the sky so wide Together side by side The shoes on the side The jacket off please uh, they have cocktail. They hope they have cocktail. We have a party here. So it's gonna be music and dance. English. English. Are you fresh? Okay. Okay, guys. Good afternoon. Welcome on the boat. Uh, Poland, uh, Poland, the old Portuguese. Uh, it's just three water on the boat, and the boat called uh, Big Mont, and the stop engine, and the mooring, and the boat stop, and the people go swim. Okay? Okay. And the masquerade, and the people go swim. And the boat, I have the, the drink, normal, just free. Uh -huh. okay. okay? And the Coke, and orange, Sprite. Cuba Libre, Caipirinha, beer. Hola, ¿cómo está? I learned greeting. It's the same. The Spanish and Portuguese people can understand each other. Yeah, I mean, but it's not, it's not exactly the same. Hola! Hola! Let me try Cape Verde. Ram Cape Verde. Yeah. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I wanna, I wanna see the brand. I just wanna take a photo of the brand. Okay, all right. Traffic Oh, Grog de Oh, boy, this is Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, yeah. I'll put it here. Energy, 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 energy! Hey, hey. How many more to go? One of them. I'm gonna go to all parts. I hope you don't mind the camera. Yay!
Why this thing? Welcome to Sao Cabo Verde! Time. It was really cute. We need to go. Yeah, the dolphin. Man. When we go snorkeling, we need to find the dolphin. Nemo. I give you dollars. You come outside. <laughs> My job man, you only dash dollars, not nairas. Piece of art walking. You have trust issues now. I don't trust anything. You trust your shadow. Even this ship, I don't trust. Leonardo DiCaprio. Hey Leonardo DiCaprio. You know. Bro, this is the most ugly for Breaking Bad. Understand. Woo! Yeah. So, 
After we finished swimming and snorkeling, we got back on board to enjoy some snacks and drinks. Little did we know what was coming next. On our way back to shore, the engine failed. <laughs> what could have been a stressful moment quickly turned into an impromptu party. We were just drifting at sea. Instead of panicking, we were just out there dancing, singing, drinking, eating until we got rescued. Thanks to the energy on board, it was incredible. Even the quiet, reserved people who had initially kept to themselves when you got to the boat ended up joining in dancing and having a great time. Oh, yeah, 
Africa! We are almost! This entire trip was a real eye-opener, full of incredible opportunities. I had a chance to meet and network with brilliant minds and of course had a ton of fun <laughs> along the way. Now it's time to leave Cape Verde, but I'll definitely be back. It's an amazing country with endless opportunities and potential. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you truly enjoyed it and you learned something new. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe. And I'll definitely see you on the next one. Until then, au revoir, kwaheri, bye-bye. What's the bag? This, this too. Is it yours? Yours. These are my bags, man. No, no, no. Even... Everything is? Eh? Yeah, everything is good, so we can go. Don't be angry. Are you being I mean, a gentleman? I thought oh, you were being a gentleman. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Customers that you can.